Today, we will be discussing a crucial aspect of Maya that is often overlooked by beginners. Maya projects help you keep your files and assets organized and in one central location. This is crucial when working with others on a project, as all the files and assets are included, making it easier for other team members to continue where you left off. Even working solo, using my projects is a good practice as it helps to keep things organized and makes backing up your work a lot simpler. If you're not working in an organized way, you almost definitely will run into problems with broken file paths, as files get left behind as you move the project around, or if you delete files outside of a project, thinking you don't need them anymore. Just before we go over how to create and set my projects, I would just like to thank those of you watching who have joined the Patreon. I think a couple more of you have joined since the last video, and your support really means the world to me. Right, so before we can set a project, we need to go ahead and create one. To open the project window, select File, Project Window. The project window lets you create new Maya projects, set the location of project files, and change the names and locations of existing projects. Click New to create a new project, and just set the location to wherever works for you. And we can just give it a name. Then, usually just leave everything else as default, and just go ahead and hit Accept. Cool, so now what we've done is created the project's like folder structure on our drive. So to work within this directory now, we have to set the project within Maya. So from the menu bar, go to File, Set Project. Navigate to the desired folder, and you're just going to want the most top level folder, which you should better work out because it's the one with the workspace.mel file. Then just go ahead and click Set. Now Maya knows the project directory and by default will load you into the correct folders when you're doing various tasks like opening your scene files or navigating for texture files. And that's it. You now know how to create and set a Maya project. Remember, using Maya projects can save you a lot of time and frustration when working on a project, so really try to use them every single time. Don't forget to join the Discord server for more tips and tricks and to join the Discord community. And I've now started to include a link tree in the descriptions, so why not go ahead and follow me on some of my other socials. With that, thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit that like and subscribe buttons, come follow me on my socials and I'll see you in the next video.